Okay, so now we're going to talk about the binormal vector, which is the last one of our three analogs of uh, the vectors i, j, and k. Uh, so far we have talked about the tangent vector, the normal vector. So this is like the version of i, this is like j, and then we need something for k, which is going to be the binormal. And the easiest thing to do is, well, if this is i and this is j, k was like i cross j. And so we will define the binormal essentially in that way. So the binormal vector is just uh, the tangent vector cross the normal vector. Since both of them were of unit norm and perpendicular, this is already of size 1. And it's already perpendicular to these two, being a cross product. And so that really does give you the, the, the moving frame, what's known as a moving frame, uh, or sometimes called a frenet frame. OK, so i, j, and k are fixed in space, but these three can move with the curve. I'll show you in a, 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 a computer animation at the end of the video. And so uh, this is known as a frenet frame. Uh, it can be useful in computer graphics and other things. Uh, we won't use. I mean, this. Uh, we will just. This, we're just discussing this to complete the story. Uh, as an example, let's say you want to compute it for the helix, which is a curve that has this equation. So again, you have to start with the tangential, then with the normal, and then with the binormal. So the tangential required, the tangent vector requires a velocity, which is minus sine of t, cosine of t, and this is one. Then it requires the speed, right? Which is, uh, well, in this case, it's square root of sine squared plus cosine squared plus one, so that gives you square root of two. Then the tangent vector is just the velocity over speed. Just one over root two of the velocity. Then the normal vector requires the derivative of the tangent vector. So as you can see, uh, this can become a bit uh, long of a computation and this gives you this thing and then the the normal of uh, this vector was also required for the normal vector and so this has norm uh, 1 over root 2 and finally, you find that the normal vector is, uh, well, it was this by d divided by that. So that gives you a negative cosine of t, negative sine of t comma zero. Okay. And you can check, for example, that this is orthogonal to this, so they do uh, they are truly perpendicular vectors. And finally, the binormal vector is just a cross product of these two. So the binormal vector is let's do it with the determinant formula i, j, k uh, tangent was 1 over root 2 minus sine of t, cosine of t, one. Normal was minus cosine of t, minus sine of t, zero. And so this gives you sine of t. Uh, let's see. Okay. I think minus cosine of t, I'll check the sign in a second. 
Yeah, I think it's fine. And then, oh, sorry, the, there should be a one over root two here, one over root two here. So in a sense, there's a, sorry. You can factorize a one over square root of two. It will be there so everywhere, so that's not a problem. And then uh, the last one is one. Yes. So again, this has norm root two over root two, that's one, so it's univector. And then you can check that uh, it's orthogonal to this vector and it's also orthogonal let's see so perpendicular to the other one this gives you minus sine squared minus cosine squared plus one yeah it's, it's fine so this is a binormal vector so I'll show you an animation at the, uh, soon uh, so this is an example illustrating the Frenet frame which is a tangent normal and binormal vectors uh, this is a particular formula for a curve that we want to understand and again these are the three vectors playing the roles of i, j and k but they will move all, uh, together with the curve as you'll see uh, very soon and let's just watch what happens okay so you see they're keeping track of the curve <coughs> it seems that the yellow vector is like the velocity or tangent vector the blue vector is like the acceleration and the purple vector is more like the binormal so the point is that the acceleration is like uh, always determined by the tangent and normal vectors meaning that they're al it's always determined by the blue and yellow vectors in this picture and so these two determine a plane and the acceleration always belongs instantaneously to the plane uh, that these two uh, span. Okay, and uh, this concept of Frenet frame is useful um, like in video games and other places where you sort of need to keep track of the motion of, a, of an object.